Hey everybody, good morning, it's Brandon Belize. So, it is an amazing day here in Millbrae. Summer's in the air. Got my car back. That's that's always a good thing. Um, it was nice having a 2017 loaner of a Lexus, but something, something just amazing about your car, you know? Your bed to sleep in, your shower to take a shower in. I travel quite a bit, and as wonderful as traveling is, it's just something amazing about sleeping in your own bed, waking up and walking down into your own kitchen. Uh, I think that's powerful. And what makes that powerful? Is it the familiarity? Or is it the routine? Is it the kinship we have with our pillow? I mean, some people even travel with their pillow, right? Um, so I was thinking about that. And, and it's really what I hope we as not only a martial arts school owner, not only as a business owner, but as a person of service would try to create in our school. Are you that pillow? Okay, get this metaphor. Are you that pillow that just creates so much comfort so much joy, so much happiness that they got to take you on the airplane when they travel. When they sleep in a hotel, they got to have their pillow. Is your martial arts school like that pillow? <laughs> can you see that? And how can we accomplish that? I was sharing that with, with my young team that it really, really is just about being understanding versus asking to be understood, to be sympathetic to be empathetic, to be all those things. Because anything less than that, I think we personalize things, we internalize things, and we take it personally. And as they say in the Four Agreements by Miguel Luis Ruiz, I, don't, I never get his name quite right. The Four Agreements, one of the things they stress, one of the Four Agreements is don't take things personally. Don't take things personally, you know? And that's very important. That's very, very important. Not to take things personally. And I don't mean not be considerate of your own feelings and validate them in the process because that's important. One of the reasons we're an entrepreneur, one of the reasons we own our own business because we don't like to be told what to do. And we like to create situations in life that um, nurture our vision, nurture our purpose. But you know what's the scary thing about that? The scary thing about that is it's very, very easy to become complacent. It's very, very easy to rationalize your behavior. I know I've done it because you, know, you need that sounding board. You know, at work, you have a boss, you have a manager, right? Telling you, you're performing well, you're not performing well. Well, who does that to you at work, at your business? Nobody, nobody does that to you in your business, correct? So it, it's a very challenging situation to be in. You could have a challenge with a parent and it's very easy to rationalize that you're in the right and they're in the wrong. and and I try to stress that again with my young team. I don't care who's right. I don't care who's wrong. What I do care is that we are proactive in finding a solution to whatever challenge it is that we're having. That's why I would encourage you to eliminate the word problem from your vocabulary. Problem is very negative and Again, one of the things I encourage to my young team is try not to reply with, no problem, no problem. You know, when somebody says something and, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Hey, no problem. Two negative words, no and problem. And that's one of our, our challenges every day and our goals is not to give somebody no as an answer. We're very passionate about that in our business. No is not an answer we give our clients. No is not a word we give to our clients. Cool? And then problem, of course. If I use the energy that created the problem to try to solve it, I will fail miserably time and time and time again. So 
I choose not to use that word problem. No problem. So that helps a lot in, in creating a more positive work environment where we look at things as challenges. If the, it's a challenge, then we want to rise to the occasion. And as a team, let's overcome this challenge. Super powerful, right? I believe so. I definitely believe so. So I'm going to encourage you that today. Are you that pillow? <laughs> Are you that pillow that's just so good that your clients need to take you on that plane with them or into that hotel when they travel? That's it. And, and that's really the art of, of what we do. And if we can do that and we have solid martial arts, we have good curriculum, we have great teaching, we have um, an amazing staff, you know, fulfilling the client's needs, client fulfillment, you might have heard that before as a buzzword, then I believe we offer ourselves an opportunity to be successful, to obtain success. All right, so I want to wrap it up with the big buzz is click funnels. Everyone's talking about the click funnels. Everyone else in the different industries has been using click funnels. And my first take on it, I, I, I got their trial membership and I'm running around it, is I get it. You create this landing page, right? People opt in. It puts them into an email flow. They can ba buy and pay for products. I get it. It's, it's a wonderful product. Do I believe it can really brand well? Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit clunky. It's not a WordPress landing page for sure. And if I had the opportunity to create a WordPress landing page and then capture their lead or sell them a product and then take that email information and put them into an autoresponder, what we call a flow, and get them in the right bucket and send it to them, um, I would much rather do that. I think if you know nothing about WordPress or, or that type of coding, designing, any, anything of that nature, you don't understand that language, ClickFunnels is the best thing for you. Now, do you need to pay somebody to do that for you? Um, I don't know. That's up to you. Again, it's, it's how tech savvy are you? Can you, can you, um, it's basically plug and play. It's a drop down menu, insert a picture, put a header here, choose the font, the text size, the color, bold or not. I mean, it's pretty basic. So if you understand pages or even if you work in a PC and using something like, I don't know what's, well, I, don't, I haven't used a PC, page maker, I don't know, I don't even know what's out there. Um, you can definitely use ClickFunnels on your own. You can. There's a couple of people. Um, I sat in on two webinars. One was with Tony Giannini. And one was with Randy Reed. And both had great things to say. Both gave good information. Um, the verdict's not in yet for me. I'm going to play around with ClickFunnels myself. And again, I'm big on taking control of my business. I'm, I'm big on understanding every aspect from accounting to bookkeeping to basic legal law so I can speak to these people. I'm not going to wake up one day with no money. And, and I think we see that time and time again in the music industry, the entertainment industry. I think the same thing happens in the martial arts industry. We give our life and stuff up to a consultant. We pay them a bunch of money. We don't get the results. Um, and then we're back to square one. So I think it's really, really, really important that we understand the different aspects of our business. Um, Eddie, what's happening? Can you send me a link for ClickFunnels? Yeah, go to ClickFunnels.com. They explain it better, I felt, than either Randy or Tony because it's their product. And I love you guys. Don't get me wrong. I just think that's the nitty gritty. I sat and watched the tutorial. I sat um, and looking at it. Okay. You know, ClickFunnels explains their product better than anybody. So if that's your goal, if that's your goal, then, then um, go straight to the horse's mouth, right? Go straight to the horse's mouth. Let me take a look here. I want to say hi to everybody. Wow, Marcelo, Lorenzo, Jeff, Sharon, Eric, Steph. Hey, Jeff, ClickFunnels would work pretty good for you. Take a look at ClickFunnels. I'm serious. Steph Gilbert. Stephen, Stephen, aren't you still in Japan, sir? Sophia, Uriel, William, Gerald, Billy, Eddie, Virginia. What's up, Eddie? 
Yes, William. Sergio, I don't get the difference between a click funnel and an opt-in that feeds into a flow. That feeds into a flow. I've created in Rainmaker. Can you explain? Okay. This is what I got. I heard Scott talk to somebody a little bit about that, about click funnels. You, you know, the profit generated for me is, is is more like a place where they can fill out the form and pay for it. It's not as an elaborate as a landing page. I still think you need a great landing page. And if you want to use click funnels for that landing page, you can do that. But I had that discussion, Tony and I, and he admitted and we both concurred that a quality landing page in WordPress present presentation wise is much better than click funnels could ever come up with. Now, you have to have a good opt-in. So he uses this product called Wufu and I was looking at the Wufu uh, forms to capture information. They're pretty good. So again, they're just third party plugins. So you use ClickFunnel for them to land to and ClickFunnel has products within it too. But Tony's used to use, he likes Stripe to collecting payment. You know, and he manages his accounts that way. That's fine. I use Rainmaker for that. Rainmaker manages my account. So Rainmaker can take care of Stripe. They use Wufu, right, which is the lead generating line. You can also do that with Constant Contact. You know, they're just these different third-party plugins that equal to complete the, the workflow, I call it, right? They come to your landing page. And again, I'm going to prefer to go with the WordPress landing page. It's much more powerful. Uh, again, we talked about this briefly that the URL, if it says a ClickFunnel URL on it, that some people will be less likely to look at it because it's not credible. <clears throat> but when you got a good URL, <clears throat> that you're in better shape. So I sat there, I went to GoDaddy yesterday, and I bought kidsfuncamps.com. That's a great one, right? Uh, I bought Milbray. Milbray moms love kickboxing. I bought Milbury Teens Love Kickboxing, you know, things like that. That way, because if they go to a legitimate URL versus just a click funnel, then they'll begin to see that. I don't know if they think you're more legit, but I heard a comment at one of the click funnel group pages where the guy says, hey, I'm selling this credit card knife and nobody's buying it, blah, blah. And the, his response from, from one of the comments was, well, dude, you're using a click funnel URL. That shows no credibility. You should send them to a good URL. And Tony kind of concurred that yesterday. So getting back to that, Virginia, um, can you do everything with Rainmaker? I think pretty much, pretty much, you know, because people can opt in through Rainmaker, right, from your landing page. You know, I'm trying to get Rainmaker to do better, the better graphics for the lead capturing because it is. Get started now. You know, I, I, I've always, I'm encouraging that to Scott and the gang. I've put it in as a request and hopefully it's something they'll work on because I think with the different WordPress sites there, get started now, the graphics and stuff is just really outdated. And I've shared that. It's nothing new, but I still love Rainmaker. <coughs> Bless me. So, they go to they go to your landing page, you capture their information, their information in Webly goes straight into Rainmaker. From Rainmaker, you put them into a flow. The big thing is writing that content for the flow, I think. We still know that email marketing is powerful. You want to capture their email. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry. You want to capture their email, and then you want to build your email list, but you got to get them in the right flow. Don't think of this blanket statement that just because she's a woman doing kickboxing, that she has kids that want to go to your camp. Don't do that. You want to do very targeted focus. So I do believe, and I've said this, I said this two years ago, as I got more and more into my website and I'm doing my own products, that I think a website is pretty much becoming obsolete. Everything is a very focused landing page. And I want to go to, a, if I look for kickboxing and I get thrown to your landing page and it's got birthday parties, after school, you know, all this stuff, that's a huge turnoff. I need one thing and one thing only, that's kickboxing. So when I run a Facebook ad, let's say for kickboxing, I'm not sending it to my homepage. I'm sending it specifically to our kickboxing Facebook page. Now, Virginia, somebody said they're using their profit generators like a landing page. I don't recommend that. It's just not powerful enough to brand it. It just doesn't have all the bells and whistles. So I tried that. I sent somebody, in, and this was a test. We did a, a Facebook camp ad, and we sent them to a profit generator that wasn't branded, that didn't have our logo, very, very basic. Zero response. Zero zero then we beefed it up we stuck a video in the profit generator we really tightened up the copy added all this stuff click here if you want to go to the landing page and we got a little better result now 
we're running it straight to our landing page and I'll give you info on that. Say, I, I've got a little bit of leeway. I can do that. We're over 400 weeks of camp booked already. You know, in San Francisco, Millbury's at like 150, 200. But it's a young school. So I'm experimenting because I want to give you legit information. And we know the best teacher is experience. The best learning is practical application. So I'm going to get into ClickFunnels and I'm going to find out what everybody's really, really talking about. Cool? Because remember, you don't have to know to go. All these guys that are suddenly ClickFunnel experts, guess what? At one time, they weren't. Tony said it himself. I'm just a school owner, man, but I like to control things. So I've spent, you know, the better part in a dungeon for a couple months in the past year learning this stuff. Any of us can learn this stuff. You realize that, right? We just pay somebody to do it. You can do that too. Okay, Virginia. So if you use ClickFunnel product, then you can't choose your own web address. Am I understanding? No, 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 no. You can. You absolutely can. Virginia, you absolutely can. Remember, it's just a link, right? It's just a backlink. So that's not an issue. Yeah, you agree with me, Virginia, that the Rainmaker opt-in forms are old and clunky. And I think, you know, if I know Scott and the gang with the, with the buzz with ClickFunnel and everything going on, I believe Scott and them are going to make the investment and improve those, those, those uh, profit generator forms and their lead forms. Johnny, what's happening, sir? Yes, Sergio, I want to talk to you too, sir. You, you and I need to connect. Yes, ClickFunnels is its own brand, Virginia. See, that, that's what I'm here to tell you. ClickFunnels.com is its own brand. And I went straight to the horse's mouth because I watched these two webinars. And I said, okay, it's cool. Real simple. Put in a picture. Da, da, da. You can't mess up. I mean, it's very, very, very basic. It's, but it's that basic. Like I said, the landing page you create in ClickFunnels is nowhere as powerful as what you can create in WordPress. It just isn't. So I still want to maintain my website just for the people that are in San Francisco, you know, and it's general. And they're going to go to this beautiful storefront and then they can look at the different programs and things of that nature. Um, so I will always keep my website. It's like the yellow pages. It's my calling card. It's, 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 it's what it is. But if I'm running specific Facebook ads, if I'm going to do a click funnel campaign, it's going to run specifically to that page, a kickboxing page, an after school page, a camp page. They don't need all that other stuff. Remember, we're fighting for their attention. The last thing you want to do is distract them by sending them to your home page when I want kickboxing. Does that make sense? So let's wrap this up. Please listen to the beginning of this, everybody coming aboard. What we talked about is what you create in your martial arts school as memorable, as endearing, as, as, as a valued as that person's pillow. That person who loves that pillow so much, they take it on the plane with them when they travel. They sleep with it in the hotel. That's how great this inanimate object is, this freaking pillow. It's that great. Do you create those type of experiences? Do people want to take you on a plane? Do they want to take you to the hotel? Is that memory with them all the time? And you'll see it. They're wearing your school t-shirt on vacation. They're wearing it out you know, at, at a 5K everywhere. We want to create that. We really, really do. And, and I, I'm, I'm passionate about that. I'm very passionate. So we're constantly investing in our service. All right. Any questions you got for me? A lot of questions coming across the product line. Again, you're the architect of your business. You're the critical thinker. Do the homework. Just don't give money to somebody, anybody, me or anybody. Don't do that. Do your own research. So what did I do? I sat in on Randy's webinar about click funnels. I sat in on Tony's webinar about click funnels, the services they offer. Then I went straight to click funnels and I took, I'm taking their 14 day trial. I even bought a bunch of URLs at GoDaddy and they give you a free website builder. And I'm going to look at that too. Really? I mean, when you talk about branding your business, um, I don't believe anything's more powerful than WordPress. You might look at landing pages as another one. Uh, Squarespace is another one, but you really want to create something unique and special. When they hit your website in that 1.8 seconds above the fold, you got to capture them so they're at least interested to go further than 1.8 seconds. You feel me? You feel me? Cool. Hey, Johnny, what's happening, sir? All right. Anything else before I'm out of here? I'm going to go hit Pete's like I do every morning, every morning to write. If it's writing a system, writing an article, writing a book, um, I get it done. 
pick up my new book, Live, Learn, and Grow by Brandon Beliso. Uh, it's powerful. It's a powerful book. The reviews are coming in strong. It's helping people already, inspire them, helping them see if some poor kid on welfare and food stamps who grew up in a foster home who was molested can end up in my position. Anybody can do it. Anybody, anybody can do it. With the right mindset, the right skill set, the right tools, the right vision, the right purpose, and a clear action plan that I work at on a daily basis to fulfill that. All right? Go to BrandonBeliso.com for all my services. You can hire me for consulting for one hour, 30 minutes. You know, that way you don't pay these monthly, you know, subscriptions. Some people can't afford that. But you might have a burning desire. You might have something needs to be answered now. And if you do, book me for 30, sec 30 minutes. Book me for 60. And you have a captive audience. All right? Folks, until we talk again, please, please, please go out there and live your best life.